Hi y'all, it's Megan over at the Chalkboard Cottage and I realized I have not shown you a video of our finished kitchen. I know I took some pictures and put them on my blog, but I hadn't shown a video yet. So I thought today would be the day I cleaned up the kitchen because it doesn't always look like this, let's be honest. But I wanted to share it with you that it's finished. So this was our kitchen that we did ourselves, Mr. Chalkboard Cottage and myself on a budget for less than $500. So what do you think? Here it is. Okay, so what did we do? I painted the upper cabinets with pure white chalk paint by Annie Sloan. And I have several videos that maybe you've seen that are tutorials on how to do that. We kept our hardware. We're still waffling on possibly getting some new hardware. But then I painted the lower cabinets with French linen chalk paint, also by Annie Sloan. And then Mr. Chuckboard Cottage replaced our backsplash. He actually just backsplashed over our existing backsplash with classic white subway tile with gray grout. So we'll go in a little closer there. And so this all costs less than $500. So it was about $250 for the paint supplies and about $250 for the backsplash supplies. And that included buying a tile saw to cut the tiles. So what do you think? Our kitchen makeover on a budget. Let me back up over here. We're getting ready for Valentine's Day. Here's Raven joining me this morning. Let's see, let's back up over here. Here is the finished project kitchen makeover using chalk paint and just tile from Lowe's and grout from Lowe's. There we go. There we go. So I wanted to share another thing with you while we're looking at our kitchen. So I recently made over this piece. I painted this with graphite and I only did one coat. So it's kind of a gray. Typically graphite is black, but I kind of like the kind of gray. I painted this and I was going to sell it, but I decided to keep it. That's also by Annie Sloan Chalk Paint. And I got some new pillows. Mr. Chalkboard Cottage had had me on pillow lockdown because I'm a little addicted to pillows. But I bought the gray ones in the back at World Market, very reasonably priced. And I couldn't find anything else I really liked. So I made the Chevron pillows, $6 fabric on sale at Joann Fabrics. I had the inserts, so I'm really excited. So I like the way I'm trying to make the rooms cohesive because they share so much space. We had this gray ottoman from Crate and Barrel. Oh my gosh, it's probably 11 years old. We got a huge discount on it because it had a teeny hole in the corner, which I don't even think I can find anymore. You can't see it. But let me show you what's so awesome about this ottoman. Ah! All of our games so I'm not a big coffee table girl I love the Ottomans all right so oh let me show you one other piece so this is a free chair that I got at a thrift store and I should have tidied it up for the picture I didn't know I was going to be filming it and a free Ottoman and I made drop cloth covers attempting to do some slip covers I'm not super happy with them. I might make real slip covers eventually, but these I did just in less than an hour. Okay, so Eden Kitchen. There's the kitchen. Again, less than $500 made over ourselves. Let me know what you think. You can do it too if you want. It does take a lot of time, but you can do it and you get a new kitchen. 
Thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Good luck in your DIY adventures. This has been Megan at the Chalkboard Cottage. Have a great day.